All right, so in this module, we're going to go through an example using the Gibbs phase rule. So as always, um, this is going to be on your weekly quiz. So listen to the instructions and you can pause the video, go over to the quiz, answer it, and come back and we'll work this together. So here I want you to calculate the degrees of freedom for an alloy between C alpha and C liquid. So that's what the sh diagram showing here. So look at the phase diagram. Um, uh, and using some composition between C alpha and C liquid, see if you can determine the degrees of freedom just like we did with the one component system. So do that, come back, and we will see what you get. All right, so let's take a look at this and see what we get. So the way I like to approach these questions is looking at the Gibbs phase rule, let's just go through the, each of the components and see if we can answer them. So the question says calculate the degrees of freedom. So degrees of freedom is F, right? So we don't know what that is. So we're going to have to solve for that. All right. So what about, um, let's go with N first. Let's actually do it in the reverse order. So this term, right, that is non-compositional variables. Um, so this is composition. So we have temperature, but this is a binary phase diagram and we don't see any mention of pressure, right? So the only non-compositional variable is temperature. And so we have one, All right? All right, Comp uh, components, C. So it's a binary phase diagram. Uh, I'm only showing you part of it, right? But this is copper, and then it's in terms of weight percent silver. So that's two. It's a binary system, right? By the name binary, you should be able to get two. All right. And uh, the last one is phases. All right. So phases, we are at some composition here. Let's just call it this one right here, in between alpha and liquid. And so reading the phase diagram, we can tell we're in this um, phase region shown here, alpha plus liquid. And so that means we have two phases, right? Alpha is one phase, liquid's the other phase. And so the position on the phase diagram tells us how many phases, so two. All right, so let's put all this in. So two, uh, we're solving for this, two, and then one. So we have two plus F equals two plus one. So equals three, right? So it's usually very simple math here that you have to think about, but that means that um, F equals one, right? So F is one. So simple math here that we're dealing with, but um, it shows us that we have one degree of freedom, right? That's what this is telling us. Okay, so that doesn't sound like anything, but let's consider the implications of that. So um, what we're saying is that in this region that we have one degree of freedom, right? So we can only move temperature or composition and still be within the same phase field. And so what that tells me is that, okay, so I had this composition before, right? If I change the temperature from T1 and I increase it, right? So let's say I'm up here now. So I increase the temperature. Well, if you think about this two phase region, it looks like um, I can also vary composition, but remember that my compositions are fixed by the tie line. Right, so I draw a tie line and that should be straight. And that means that if I move temperature, the tie line dictates the compositions of alpha and liquid and they're fixed, right? So I can't vary alpha and liquid. So in, in the same thing, if I decrease the temperature down here, uh, the compositions are fixed because they're fixed by my tie line. And so they're here and here. So if I change temperature, then the compositions are fixed. If I want to change the composition, 
of alpha or liquid, then that tells me what temperature I have to pick. And so that's why there's only one degree of freedom in this scenario, even though it may look like we have two, because you have to remember that in a two-phase field, compositions are determined by the tie line. So again, that's an implication of the Gibbs phase rule and something that may not have been apparent when we first looked at these tie lines.